A suspect is being sought in connection with the shooting death of a Punta Gorda resident on Tuesday evening. 30-year-old Jordi Flores was gunned down in his backyard as he walked away to fetch a purchase of cannabis for someone who turned out to be his killer. In the wake of the incident, police in that jurisdiction have ramped up patrols in the vicinity of Far West Street, as well as other parts of town where they believe retaliation may take place. We are planning to conduct more patrols in that area. As a matter of fact, over the weekend we were actually highly patrolling the area and we were very visible until yesterday when this incident actually occurred. However, we were boosting up back the patrols and we will do a more stop and search and arresting persons for quality of life offenses as we go along. It is presumed that the hit on Flores was ordered by a transplant whom he has been feuding with for quite some time and that the gunman who executed the assignment is also not from Punta Gorda. In speaking with the media today, Assistant Commissioner of Police Joseph Maivet spoke on the likelihood of a reprisal. That too is being looked at, however, strategies have already been put in place to address issues like that. Notwithstanding an increase in police presence on the ground, Flores' killer is still on the loose. Since the homicide occurred almost 48 hours ago, several persons have been detained for questioning. Have you guys been able to determine a motive as to why Mr. Flores should be targeted a third time? Not at this time. The information is not forthcoming. Any arrests, any suspects you're looking for now in particular? Yes, we have three persons detained at this time and we are looking for a fourth person who can assist us in this investigation. From an investigative standpoint, the narrative in respect of what transpired that evening has not changed. Initial police investigation revealed that sometime around 6.15 p.m., whilst the deceased was at home, he was visited by a male person on a bicycle who shouted for him, and as a result, he came out of his house and that was when he was fired upon by this person who then thereafter rode off on a bicycle. Police are seeking one suspect in relation to this investigation. Like the detectives work in the case, Jordi's family is still trying to figure out what could have led to his demise. You know, that the question where we left up to Ja, you understand me well that Everything happened for a reason. Maybe he do somebody something and we don't know, you know. Maybe, you know, whatever happened for the past, jealousy, envy, you know, anything, whatever. It might go along, you know. As we've reported, there had been two unsuccessful attempts on Flores' life prior to his murder on Tuesday. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatano.